ऑन्टरप्रनर स्टार्टअप फंडिंग इक्विटी और बहुत सारी टर्म्स अगर आज इंडिया में बच्चे बच्चे की जुबान पर है तो उसका रीजन है Shark Tank India in 2021 it was aired as an indian adaptation of the original franchise Shark Tank US to promote the startup culture in india however it became an instant hit gathering a viewership of nearly 45 lakhs per episode the hype was so unreal that people started to label it as the next ipl which is quite remarkable isn't it season 1 itna zyada popular ho gaya tha they came back with another season and higher number of episodes this time even though our favorite shark ashneev was not there in the latest season it was quite surprising to see that the show didn't face any trouble instead its demand was seven times higher than that of an average tv show in india and it is also believed that sony live has literally tripled its revenue from the season not only the broadcaster but most of the brands that appeared in season 1 of the show have skyrocketed their business within a span of 1.5 years they have grown their business 2.5 times compared to the original shark tank valuation out of 62000 applications from all over india only 198 startups got a chance to pitch and guess what among these 27 startups have received external funding and most of them are getting six times more than their shark tank deals so today we're going to talk about the best shark tank appearances that made it big After the show, कुछ ऐसी डील्स भी जिन्होंने सबको हंसाया और मीम्स पर रूल किया लेट्स बिगिन आप कितना भी हेल्थ कॉन्शियस हो जाओ एक्सरसाइज कर लो जिम चले जाओ चीट मील्स के बिना सर्वाइवल बहुत मुश्किल है वाई लेज एंड कुरकुरे कंटिन्यू टू डोमिनेट द चिप्स मार्केट इन इंडिया पीपल स्पेशली इन मेट्रो सिटीज लाइक डेली मुंबई एंड बैंगलोर डिजायर समथिंग दैट इज बोथ हेल्थी एंड डिलिशियस टैक्स फूड अ पॉप स्टाइल पोटेटो चिप company that appeared on the show solved this problem by claiming to have 50% less fat than other crisps in the market they secured a deal for 70 lakhs with a 2.75% equity stake from ashneev in a pre-series funding round they successfully raised 2 million dollars from multiple investors including youth icon and the show's host ranvijay singh not only this over the past 18 months the company has experienced a remarkable 30 fold increase in sales volumes They products are available in 5000 retail stores and 30 e-commerce platforms such as Swiggy Instamart, Zepto and Blink. Tax Food has expanded its network to 22 cities in India in also selling in international markets such as Kuwait दुबई मॉलडीव एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया और तो और इनके फाउंडर्स का कहना है कि अगले दो तीन साल में वो टैक्स फूड को एक 1000 करोड़ का ब्रांड बना देंगे Wow, their success story has been truly inspiring. Next up is Hammer Lifestyle, a D2C brand specializing in fast-moving electronic goods, established in 2019. In my opinion, this particular pitch was absolutely amazing. Even before appearing on the show, their products were performing remarkably well. Recognizing the exceptional quality of their headphones, Aman Gupta, the founder of the speaker giant Bose, offered to buy the entire company for 1 crore rupees. This was a try to eat the competition but Ashneer kahan rukne wale the with this intervention Aman had to settle for a 40% stake in the company and guess what this collaboration turned out to be a brilliant decision as Aman's expertise played a vital role in exponentially scaling the brand Hammer Lifestyle has nearly tripled its business and witnessed a substantial increase in monthly sales going from 70 lakhs to 2 crores furthermore their website traffic has also surged six Export, a company that wasn't even available on any e-commerce site now has almost every product ranking in the top 100 of amazon.in's best selling products truly remarkable ab jis company ki main baat karne wali hu uske pitch dekhkar to mujhe bachpan ki yaad aa gayi thi yes i'm talking about skippy ice pops they sell packets stickless popsicles similar to the one sold by fruit chill and oh god inki pitch itni zyada influential thi ki ye pehla aisa startup hai jise all five shark deal mile hai they invested a total amount of 1 crore in exchange for 15% equity sirf yahi nahi lenscout founder piyush went ahead and further invested 1.2 crores in the company just amazing aur in deals ke baad brand ki kismat aur numbers dono badal gaye just after the episode they were asked to process 20000 orders for online platforms i mean Hype of Shark Tank is unreal. Their monthly collection used to be just 4 to 5 lakhs per month before the show, and now 
they claim that they sell popsicles worth rupees 2 to 2.8 crores per month the brand has also evolved from a regional manufacturer to an international exporter skippy for the win agla business to fitness freaks ke liye ek dream pitch tha because it introduced them to a protein rich low calorie and sugar free ice cream it's called get away The mother-son duo of Jimmy and Josh Shah was able to impress the Sharks with their diverse flavors and neat presentation and grab a deal of 1 crore at 15% equity. The brand has evolved so much since then that fitness icon Malaika Arora also invested in the company and became a brand ambassador as well. And they claim that their revenue was 2.5 crores which later increased to 8 crores after the Sharks invested in the company. Inhone apna business 45 cities ke 160 cloud kitchens mein expand kar liya hai and more than 50 employee are working working in their company this is such a huge growth their goal is to set up around 350 cloud kitchens in different cities and with the pace they are going this doesn't seem difficult at all the next pitch in my opinion was one of the most innovative and revolutionary pitches of the season it was an agricultural tech firm called Brain Wire that pitched an affordable and efficient livestock health monitoring and tracking system named We Stock. They came with a noble cause, impressed everyone, and received a funding of 60 lakhs for 10% equity from Namita, Piyush, and Ashni. Funding se pehle, inki monthly sales were one to three lakh rupees per month. But now they are operating at 35 lakhs revenue per month. 35x. This is just crazy. Apart from these successful pitches. There were some startups that didn't receive any sort of funding from the show par inke founders lage rahe aur company ko exceptionally grow kar diya chalo inke bare mein bhi jaan lete hain first on the list is zip It is a Gurugram based startup that provides units of electric two wheelers to ride sharing businesses e-commerce food and grocery distributors. The founders asked for 2.2 crore for 1% equity but unfortunately couldn't attract any shark. Par ab ye startup itna zyada grow kar chuka hai ki I am sure unko apne decision par regret zarur ho raha hoga. The firm has raised around 36 million dollars to date and is valued anywhere between 80 to 120 million dollars. It currently has over 500 people working in the company and their plan is to deploy 2 lakh scooters in the market before 2025. How crazy is this? Next one is Tega Coffee. Founder Bhupender Madan introduced a very unique concept of selling coffee in the beer bottles. Interesting, right? Brand ke saath saath inke flavors ke bhi naam bade hi interesting hai. Jaise ki Palang Tod, Next Level and Coffee ki Jawani. How cool is this? and even the sharks got excited about the concept but they didn't believe in bhupender's vision and unfortunately didn't offer him anything but guess what people accepted it and every outlet of theka coffee now makes 15000 rupees every day compared to the pre shark tank sales of just 2000 to 3000 from the whole business furthermore the startup recently raised 2.5 crores in the funding round led by dubai based vc firm zenith multi trading next brand shark tank mein aane se पहले ही फेमस था एंड इसके प्रोडक्ट्स गली बॉय मूवी में 2019 में ही यूज किए जा चुके थे इसका नाम है अर्बन मंकी अ न्यू एज यूनिसेक्स स्ट्रीट वेयर ब्रांड यस इट वाज ऑलरेडी क्वाइट सक्सेसफुल इवन बिफोर शार्क टैंक बट दे स्टिल मेड अ पिच आस्किंग फॉर 1 करोड़ फॉर 1 परसेंट इक्विटी सीईओ यश कंगवाल आल्सो रिसीव्ड काउंटर ऑफर्स फॉर द सेम but he rejected all of them and moved on with his business and after shark tank he has multiplied his business by 3 times the company is now earning a revenue of 3 crores compared to the pre shark tank sales of 1 crore not only that they have also collaborated with some prominent rappers in india such as divine and raftar fantastic guys now it's time to talk about some companies that added flavor to the show and made the sharks question their existence leaving the audience laughing first is zip line ye meme to aap sabne dekha hi hoga yes this outburst from ashneer was about the startup we are currently discussing zip line is essentially a shield made of reusable glass that was sterilized and free from germs and bacteria the main idea behind it was to use this shield whenever you drink water or any other beverage to prevent cross contamination and maintain personal hygiene but sharks ko ye idea bilkul pasand nahi aaya so every shark laughed 
and made fun of it. But Rohit Warrior seemed extremely determined about this invention and was willing to scale the business at any cost. So he started attending multiple hotel shows and workshops to raise awareness about this product. Interestingly, he began selling t-shirts with Ashni's famous meme. Bhai, kya kar rahe yaar tu? Printed on them. Hmm, great way to encash the insult, I guess. The last one was so funny that it had every shark laughing and giggling throughout the pitch. It was presented by Jumani and Jayashree who were on the mission to make your belly button attractive. Like what? The product's name was Naval Fukai, a product that would help you achieve a perfectly round belly button. I believe it was another way of telling people that their bodies aren't perfect, isn't it? Of course, they didn't get a deal, but their hilarious personality definitely uplifted our moods. And we don't have exact numbers on how these brands are doing but i'm sure they received a marketing boost from appearing on shark tank because we all know that it was never about money they received from funding it was about getting their product presented in front of millions of people watching the show that's the reason why the sharks were able to get at least 2x more equity at typically half the valuation so What was your favorite pitch of the season? Tell us in comment section. Do share this video with Shark Tank lovers and startup enthusiasts. This is it for today. We'll be back with another great episode very soon. Until then, bye. Take care.